Hey everyone, in today's video, we'll be talking about the top 10 facts about Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So, before we get started with the facts, let's take a quick overview of the history of this breed. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is among the latest toy breeds, and it originally belongs to a group of companion dogs. This toy breed exists since the early 16th century, but until now it has been changed several times. While talking about the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, it is said that they are the newer version of the original King Spaniel. However, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel breed was created during the 1920s. This breed is now well known as the official breed since 1995. Other than that, it is the 20th most popular breed in the United States. Top 10 Facts About Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Number 1. Origin The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is known as a new breed, but the antecedent of this breed was the Toy Spaniel, which was extremely popular in the timeline of the 16th to 18th century. The Toy Spaniels were small lap dogs that came from France to Scotland in the early 1500s by the Queen of Scotland. For a long time, they lived in the laps of the royals and they stayed with the queens. Besides, the Toy Spaniels were featured in the royal paintings with their owners as well that were created by the famous artists of that time, such as Lely, Van Dyke, and Titian. Number 2. Origin of Name The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel got their name from King Charles II. The king was much obsessed with this breed. People say that the king always carried three spaniels with him and he didn't go anywhere at all. Due to his love for the breed, the king was accused of ignoring his kingdom because he was busy taking care of his dogs. Charles II was known as the Cavalier King. That is how the breed gets its name. Number 3. The Comforter Spaniel Nickname The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel are well known because of their affection and friendly nature. They only love getting cuddled by their owners. On the other hand, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are capable of building a strong bond with their masters and if you mostly stay away from home, then this breed is not recommended for you. However, for families and children, the breed is perfect. Number 4. They Prevented Fleas The Cavalier King Charles Spaniels were highly known as comfort dogs and they were frequently brought to the beds of royals and they were cuddled. These dogs attracted the fleas and were bitten by them instead of their owners. Hence, they saved their owners from the plague and other such diseases. Number 5. Types Cavalier King Charles Spaniel have a silky and a slightly wavy coat of medium length. On the other hand, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are classified into four different types depending upon the color of their fur. Number 1. The first one is Prince Charles with the tri-colored coat. Number 2. The second one is King Charles with the black and tan colored coat. Number 3. The third one is the ruby with a mahogany colored coat. Number 4. The fourth one is the Blenheim with chestnut and white colored coat. These were the types of Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Number 6. Access to Confidential Places King Charles II had so much love for his dogs that he ordered that his dogs can be denied from the entrance to any building, even in the Houses of Parliament. Number 7. The Pug After the death of King Charles II, the popularity of the Toy Spaniels started to fade away and other dogs such as the Pub started to gain the spotlight. King Charles Spaniel bred these dogs that gave them a shorter snout and domed head and all of these features continue to pass genetically in today's King Charles Spaniels that are a different breed from the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Number 8. The breed was divided into two. By the end of the 1920s, King Charles Spaniels possessed domed heads that were further accompanied by short stubby snouts. While the Spaniels had these features, on the contrary, these traits were desired by some American fancier Roswell Eldridge long for the Spaniels added in the painting with King Charles II. The king then traveled to England and offered them with 25 pounds for the best examples of old types of spaniels that are said to ideally larger dogs with longer and more elegant snouts. While on the other hand, the breeders did not seem to be interested in rising to the challenge because they already had spent a long time in perfecting the short nose version. The first few breeders that tried to attempt this thing failed badly. However, with the passage of time, the interest grew and a small group of breeders accepted the challenge. The newly created variation was then transferred to the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel in order to differentiate it from its puggier parts. But unfortunately, the Eldridge did not live that long to see the results of the project and he passed away in 1928. The first Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Club also began in the same year and it was started with Anne's son as a leading example. Number 9. Blenheim is referred to a battle during the start of the 18th century, the Duke of Marlborough had a great love for King Charles Spaniels and kept a number of them with chestnut and white marking. It is said that when the Duke went away to fight the Battle of Blenheim, his wife stayed home as she was taking care of a Spaniel who was about to give birth. To calm the dog and herself, the Duke's wife often pressed her thumb against the dog's forehead. 
the news arrived about the battle and it has been won and after a little time interval, the puppies were born and they had red spots on their heads. This was believed to be a coincidence but many people believed that those marks come from the pressure of Dutch's thumb. As a result, they called that mark as Blenheim spot after the battle. After that, the family started to breed Blenheim dogs in the early 19th century. Number 10. President Ronald had one. In 1985, President Ronald gave his wife a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Rex as a Christmas present. The dog's first job was to turn on the Christmas lights and he did that with his paws. Rex lived a great life with a decent lifestyle and it had a fancy dog house that was specifically designed by Theo Hayes who was the successor of President Rutherford. Inside the dog house, there were pictures of the owners hung on the wall, the dog house resembled the White House and it was lined with a carpet. 